night Everyone's happy Spirits are light I am sitting here thinking Alone with my drink As I do this time of the year Do you remember when love was around? Today is Wednesday, November 23rd 24th. I'm finally on Thanksgiving break. I don't work until Monday. So I have five days to catch up on reading. I had to go get some blood work done this morning. I did start reading Firekeeper's Daughter and this is a Native American story. It follows an 18 year old named Donis who has never quite fit in both in her hometown and on the nearby Ojibwe reservation. She dreams of going to college. When family tragedy strikes, she puts her future on hold to look at her fragile mother. She meets this charming new recruit named Jamie, um, who is on her brother's Levi's hockey team. But as she falls for him, she senses that he is hiding something and she witnesses a shocking murder thrusting her into an FBI investigation of a lethal new drug. So far, I am really liking it. I'm really hoping that I can do some progress with this book. Um, I also started reading Salem's Law by Stephen King on October, but I haven't finished it. I think I'm on page 300. I have like around 400 more pages to be done. Here's the plans for today. I'm gonna clean my room. I'm gonna make some coffee here. I'm not gonna buy coffee today out because I'm at home and I don't need to waste um, more money on coffee, which I've been doing for the past few months. It is 11.34 a.m. I'm going to make some coffee and make some breakfast because I wasn't able to eat or drink for the past hours because I did get blood work done. <laughs> finished cleaning I drank my coffee I have a bit I have a bit left so I'm gonna finish drinking it I think I'm gonna put some ice inside it I don't like it when my hot coffee becomes cold so I'm gonna add some ice inside it I am home alone right now which is amazing I love the solitude and the quietness but I'm eating some potato chips sea salt and vinegar the best chips ever we already put our christmas tree up um <laughs> i didn't film it
November 25th. The last couple of years I've been educating myself on what exactly happened on Thanksgiving. People should remember indigenous uh, people during Thanksgiving, especially on this day because of so many indigenous people who died, who were murdered. Books that I read to my students in class were We Are Water Protectors, and as you guys can see, I did do a little bulletin board of um, this book. Um, some of the books that I read in my class were Fry Bread, Holding Words by um, Melanie Florence. It's such an amazing children's book that left me like shocked when I read it with my class um, because it talks about how many native kids were stolen from their family, from their mothers and their fathers, and they were taken to residential schools. And I just felt the emotions. It follows a, a grandfather who calls the time when he was um, taken to a residential school. The pain that he went through and other kids went through, their culture and their language was taken from them. Also how the pain is passed down and how healing can also be shared. So it's a masterpiece. I was almost in tears. All right, so I just got ready. I just put on a black turtleneck and that's it and sweats and I'm just excited to eat. November 26th, it is Friday. It is the day after Thanksgiving. But let me update you guys with my readings. I did read a little bit this morning because I wanted to catch up on reading, on my readings. But I'm still trying to make some progress with Firekeeper's Daughter. It follows Donish. She's an 18 year old and she's in high school. She's a senior. She's about to go to college and she just gave her family the news that she's not gonna go away to college but she's gonna stay at a local college i think i think i'm not pretty sure yet there's this new boy in town his name is jamie is it jamie yes jamie he has a scar on his face and her brother levi or levy's levy levi that's my brother's name by the way her asks or tells her to be Jamie's ambassador. They're starting to get to know each other and um, Donis starts asking him questions but he doesn't want to answer any because he wants to get to know her first. So that seems kind of like shady. But that's basically all. We are knowing a little bit of history about the Ojibwe reservation which is awesome. Um, I'm always looking forward to learning about um, the reservations. I'm gonna keep reading right now and I'm gonna take notes so I can um, remember what I'm reading. So yeah, let's read. <laughs> 